Hi guys, today I'm going to be making something fun. In keeping with this week's candy theme, I'll be making tamarind candy, or as it's known in Belize, tamarind sweet. Look at it, sugary but tart, savory, just delicious. Everything all rolled up in one. You're watching The Bear Pantry Show. Now this candy is pretty easy to make, okay? We won't even need the stove. So because this is going to be a quick one, I want to take this time to make a few announcements. The first one is I'm back to two videos a week. I'm back to uploading two videos a week. Remember when I got sick with the vertigo? I had to scale back to one video a week and you guys were so loving and kind and patient and supportive still and I really appreciate that. But now that I'm feeling a lot better, I'm back to uploading two videos a week. Last week was the first time we did so and then this week. Um, we're pretty busy at the shop too. For those of you who don't know, we're self-employed in silk screening plastic bottles and sometimes it gets pretty busy there to where we have to work seven days a week. So if I find I'm getting overwhelmed again, I'm going to go ahead and scale back to one and let you guys know, alright? Now, this next announcement is a pretty sad one. We lost our beloved pet Willow on June the 29th and I had recorded um, four videos before we lost Willow and those videos were, um, which ones? The breakfast burrito, oh the cilantro, lime rice, the quesarito, and the sesame seed candy. And so for this whole month, I've been able to take some time off to just help Jada grieve and to just strengthen ourselves as a family. Willow was just gonna be four years old on July the 8th. Uh, Jada has had the puppy since she was six weeks old. And it was one of those free puppies that you get outside the, the store, outside Walmart. And Jada just loved and adored her, did a lot of things with that puppy. She has tons and tons of videos and pictures. And I may insert some here or maybe towards the end of the video, but we're just strong enough now to talk about it. So um, right before the 4th of July celebrations, uh, Willow dug a hole underneath the fence and she got out, went down the alley, went to that busy street that runs along, you know, outside my house here, got struck by a car. Thankfully, a police officer moved her body out of the way so we didn't have to find her all, all gross and, you know, not intact so we were able to bring her home and bury her and of course as you can imagine for those of you who love your pets um, it was pretty devastating and so uh, we took some time off to grieve and to strengthen ourselves and we're thankful for those of you who have me as a friend on Facebook my Facebook is Barbara McNabb Greenwich I thank you for your kind words your virtual hugs and kisses your prayers everything that you did you know, that strengthened us and helped us during that really, really sad time. So Jada's doing a lot better right now. And, you know, she still has her moments where she'll break down because that, you know, puppy was her friend. And so um, pretty much that's what we had to deal with over the past month. But we're doing a lot better. But anyways, back to the making of the candy, guys. Thank you so much for your patience. All right, guys, so the only ingredients you're going to need is going to be the tamarind or the tamarind. I'm going to say it interchangeably today, okay, because I'm used to saying tamarind. The tamarind, a big bowl, brown sugar, and some water. And you can use rum to replace the water, but I didn't happen to have any rum here. I only have some brandy and some wine. But you can use rum, and it'll make it that much, that much more special. But don't give it to kids, okay? So we're going to start off, first of all, by measuring about a cup and a half of the brown sugar. This is the, I like the light brown sugar. I don't know if it makes a difference, light or dark. And let me show you what we do with the tamarind. Now, it starts off green when it's on the tree, and then it gets brown like this, and it's a fruit. And I think they use it like in India, like the Far East and stuff, but definitely in the Caribbean. And the shell, you can hear it crack. And pretty much it's like eggshells. And you want to get off all the shells, because if you leave these little pieces on when you're making the candy, you're going to hear crunch, 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 and that's not going to be nice. Then you want to pull these threads out, this is what holds it together. I'm going to get all of this off. And it's going to take a while to peel all of this. This is about a pound that Jada got for me from the local supermarket. And this supermarket caters to a more Latin um, community. So I think that's why we found it there. I don't know that you'll find this like in Kansas or places like that, but good luck, okay? This is really good for you. You can just soak this in water and drink the water from it, and it's so awesome. It cools the inside, like on a hot summer's day. So what I'm going to do is just continue peeling them, enlist some help, and then when I come back, we're going to be making off 
the candies. So I was lucky enough to have Jada help me out, so it's all done. Take a look. I'm saving these two because I want to soak this in water and just drink the water. So I'm not going to make a candy out of that. Let's see how much we got here. We have the sugar. Remember I told you guys it's real easy to make. Just kind of dump it all in there and just put some elbow grease into this. Just kind of knead it up because we want this to start forming. Don't add the water yet because we don't want to over add the wet, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and just mix this until it starts clumping up together because that's why we're using brown sugar because it's so sticky. If some seeds come loose from the pods, we're going to take the seeds out, all right? If not, we'll just leave them in there. You guys know they're in there when you eat the candy. So let me go ahead and do this till it starts forming. I add one tablespoon of water and mush it up some more and then I add another half cup of brown sugar. All right, so I form the first ball. And I just have some regular white sugar, granulated white sugar. Like if it doesn't have enough sugar already, you gotta dust it with some sugar to make it look pretty. And there's the first one. All you do is grab it, make them as big or as small as you want them to be. But when I'm doing stuff like this, I wanna be done. <laughs> so I kinda make them big, okay? Take a look, guys. How much do we get? Two, four, six, eight, ten. Did I count right? Two, four, six, eight, ten. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 10. I keep thinking there's one missing. So I got 10 big ones. And remember, if you have trouble with diabetes, don't eat these, okay? Because it's loaded with sugar. I'm going to take one nibble. Of course, it's going to be so tart. It's going to go like that in my jaw. <laughs> so, but anyways, for those of you who are Belizeans and always wondered how to make the tamarind sweet, this is how it's made. Real simple uh, for the Americans. It's tamarind candy say it all special mm -hmm. and thank you guys so much for your patience your love and your support and until i see you guys again take care hold my hand as we walk down this cold day road hold my heart and never let it go because you're leaving me and you're not coming